officers had detained a subject that was a uh, possible suspect in an armed robbery, and they were in the process of transporting him down to the station to be interviewed. Uh, during that, the subject that was in custody in the back of the squad car, so he was handcuffed in the back of the squad car, indicated that he had a firearm. Officers uh, checked and it turned out he did have a firearm in his hand, and so we backed up and began negotiating with him as he was threatening to do harm to himself. Uh, negotiator responded to the scene immediately, started making contact with him, and did what we could to resolve this situation peacefully. Um, the negotiator spent a lot of time talking to him, trying to bring him down and uh, get him to cooperate and drop the firearm. Uh, we reached out to some of his family members even to get their assistance and, and help in the negotiations. Ultimately, he became more agitated, so members of the tactical team moved up to try to extract him from the car. And as they were moving up, uh, a shot was fired off from inside the vehicle, we believe, by the suspect. And so uh, the tactical officers used chemical munitions to the car with uh, gas and make it an environment that uh, he did not want to be in anymore. At that point, he surrendered peacefully. He was removed from the vehicle and has been provided medical treatment at this time. Uh, it doesn't appear he's suffering any gunshot wounds or anything like that. Uh, he's being treated for chemical exposure and I believe some minor lacerations from some glass being broken out in the vehicle, but we'll have more details on that later for sure. And, uh, and does, no officers appear to have fired any fire or shots, and so we're double checking that as well. That's all part of a thorough investigation that'll go on uh, to not only look at, you know, if we did something wrong, what can we do to fix it, and uh, make sure something like this doesn't happen.